Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about write the equation of a line parallel or perpendicular to a given line. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. The first one we're going to deal with here is parallel. So let's talk about parallel here. Right, number 15. We want to find the equation of a line parallel to 5x plus 3y equals 1. And it passes through the point 3 comma 5. Okay? Well, hmm. First thing I want to do when I'm thinking parallel or find an equation of line, we have a point we need a slope. Okay? Well, we know they're going to have the same slope here. So we have 5x plus 3y equals 1. Let's get this in slope-intercept form so it's easy to find the slope. Subtract a 5x to both sides. And I'm left with 3y equals a minus 5x plus 1. Then from there, I can divide both sides by 3. And I'm left with y by itself. And we have negative 5x divided by 3, negative 5 thirds x. And to be honest, I don't even have to sit, finish this if I don't want to. All I care about is that slope, but I'm going to plus 1 third. All right, 1 divided by 3. But what I'm looking for here is that slope, negative 5 thirds. So our slope here is negative 5 thirds. And since the line we want to find is parallel to this one, they're going to share the same slope. Okay? So what we can do now is use a point slope form. We have a point, we have our slope, and we're good. So we have y minus the y coordinate 5 equals our slope, negative 5 thirds x minus the x value from our point slope form. And now it's pretty easy. We have essentially our answer, but we can simplify this and let's write it in slope intercept form. Okay, so um, distribute this negative 5 thirds out. y minus 5 equals negative 5 thirds x. Negative 5 thirds times a negative 3 is a positive, two negatives make a positive, and that's just a positive 5. We then add a 5 to both sides. And this is a nice, easy problem. We have y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 10. And this line that we found is parallel to this first line that they gave us, right? They share the same slope, and it goes to the point 3 comma 5, okay? So now let's go, we, done, we did parallel, let's do perpendicular, okay? So now we're going to do perpendicular. So we want to find the equation of line perpendicular to 5x minus 3y plus 4 equals 0, okay? And it goes to the point negative 4 comma 1. This is pretty much almost the same process. We have to find the slope here, but then we have to do something with it. So it's a little additive to the process from before. So again, we want to find the slope. To do that, let's get this in slope-intercept form. We subtract a 5x to both sides, we can subtract a 4 to both sides, and we're left with the negative 3y here equals minus 5x minus 4, okay? And I guess you could have added a 3y to both sides, but it's okay. I divide both sides by negative 3, and again, we have y by ourselves equals negative 5x divided by negative 3, which is a positive 5 thirds x, and then negative 3 and minus 4 is a positive 4 thirds. But all we care about here is the slope at 5 thirds, okay? So our slope here of the line they gave us is 5 thirds, but we want to find a perpendicular slope. So perpendicular slopes we know is what we call the opposite reciprocal, okay? So way to do that, so we have our slope 1 and we want to find the perpendicular slope. We take that 5 thirds and we're going to flip it and put a negative sign on there, okay? So our slope of the perpendicular line, or perpendicular slope, we're gonna flip it, 5 thirds is 3 fifths, and we put a minus sign on there. So an opposite sign, and we flip it. Called the opposite reciprocal. So the slope we need now is negative 3 fifths here, and we're going to the point negative 4, 1. So again, let's use our point slope form. y minus y1, which is 1, equals our slope, negative 3 fifths 
times x minus x1, negative 4. Okay? Simplify where we can. We have y minus 1 equals, remember this minus a negative 4 is like plus a positive 4. And then we can distribute the minus 3x, or 3 fifths. So minus 3 fifths x here. And then negative 3 fifths times 4 is a minus 12 fifths. Okay? All right. A lot of steps here. Well, how can I go from there? I want to get y by itself. So I'm going to add a 1 to both sides. Which trick thing here? 1 is the same thing as 5 fifths, right? So if I add a 5 fifths here, so another way of saying 1, right? They cancel. y is by itself. We have y equals negative 3 fifths x. And negative 12 fifths plus 5 fifths. All right, that's why I kind of did that, so it's easy to add the fraction is a minus 7 fifths. And there we have the equation on a line that is perpendicular to the line that was given to us and it goes through this point. Okay? And if we graph these two lines, they'd be perpendicular. They have perpendicular slopes and then it also goes to that point. So I hope you learned something about parallel and perpendicular lines and how to find them given an equation of a line and let's go through a point. If you did learn something, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us bring more free math lessons to you and to everyone else in the world. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com